So uh, here's a sneak peek of CD CTGI version 3, which we're uh, previewing at IMSH in New Orleans this year, and uh, ready for release in probably March. Um, let's go into quick start. Uh, look, as you can see, it's a completely changed interface here. This is a really dynamic, simple-to-use graphical interface. We can do simple things like add media. Let's add an image. Let's add an ECG there. Let's, uh, let's add a, a video from the camera roll. And then we can add things like investigations, like a full blood count and so on. Really simple and easy to use. But what I really want to concentrate on is how you manipulate the uh, CTG trace itself. Let's uh, tap on fetal heart rate baseline here. And what you can see is uh, we've got a, a, a horizontal pink line. We can just add some dots to that. And you can move these dots around wherever you want. Look at that. It's so easy to move. As you can see, I can scroll through the trace here, backwards and forwards. And then if I hit playback, you can just see how the tra trace has changed. We can alter the variability of the fetal heart rate uh, line. We'll just add some dots there, and we can see we can alter the, the variability really simply by just moving those dots around. Shapes is how we add in decelerations and accelerations. Let's uh, let's pick one of these here, let's uh, tap it in, and there it goes. It's popped into the trace there, and we can uh, increase its length, increase the intensity of that decel, and we can move it around, we can move it into that sort of uh, variable phase there. We can tap on it, duplicate it, we have one exactly the same now, and we can move move that around as well. If we go to contact, you can have a full loss of contact. We can tap that on the trace there. Intermittent loss of contact, let's tap that on the trace there. And of course, you can adjust those as you want. And you can delete them if you want to as well. Same controls for the uh, for the uh, tokograph. There's the baseline controls there. You can see we can move those around. Uh, we can add some noise to this to make that, that sort of appearance there. Add in some uh, contractions, and as you add the contractions in, you can see those little, uh, those little lines pop up to allow you to center those contractions as you want. And the contact is there as well. For maternal um, parameters, we can add in flags all the way along. We can add a little flag here, and we can adjust the maternal heart rate adjust the respiratory rate, adjust the, the blood pressure, and so on. And uh, as a contraction comes along, you may want it to have a strong influence on the heart rate, or a medium, or a weak influence. We can add in fetal movements as well by just doing that. So as you can see, a really simple, easy to use uh, uh, fetal heart rate and uh, maternal tokograph sim simulator um, when you press playback with another with the, another iPad with, with an app on it it, it shows the trace uh, in real time and um, it's just a beautiful simple and easy way to simulate uh, C CTGs thanks